Hey guys, it is Chrissy K and I am here with a video on this Love Me wig. It started out as jet black and this is what we ended up with. If you want to see the steps that it took for me to get here and slay my little wig, well I'll be trying, I'm trying, keep watching. Okay guys, so I got this jet black wig from Love Me Hair. I am not a black hair girl, so my homegirl showed me how to lighten it up. This hack is everything you guys, so it's going to take it up a few levels and we're going to get all this done in 20 minutes. We started with some boiling hot water and then we added the violet powder and level 40 developer and we're going to let that mix up. Then once the water is boiling, we're just going to dip that wig in there and get it fully saturated. And we're just gonna let it sit in there and boil so it can lighten up this wig. I am not even gonna lie to you, this is a lot faster and cleaner than doing it the traditional way with the foil and painting it on. Another benefit of this is that the color is going to be even all over and that's a lot harder to achieve the other way. As you can see, we have graduated into the brown color as it is now fully submerged and starting to process. But we are still not done. We gotta bleach these knots on the wigs. This particular wig is a T-part, so we gotta follow the lines and make sure that all the knots are gonna look good for the areas that could be exposed. You wanna make sure it's thick enough and you wanna let it process for maybe about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how dark the knot's on. We covered it so that it could process. Right now we are just testing it. We're gonna move some of it out of the way to make sure it's ready and it looks like they are. So we're gonna rinse it off and get it ready to be styled. Just note after this, you wanna shampoo it and condition the wig too. Shout out to my girl Coco. She is the wig slayer and she's helping me slay this wig. And she's gonna help me do everything from combing it out, plucking it, parting it, getting your girl together. I suck at tweezing and at baby hair, so mainly that's what she's helping me get together so that, um, I don't mess it up because I always do. I am a simple girl. I love to throw on my wig and go. So she's about to make my life so much easier. And boom, she cut and slayed them baby hairs on your girl. Now I'm getting hit with that good press so that it lays flat and looks more natural. Now I am back at home and I gotta finish the rest. So when the hair dried, it had a natural wave. So I'm just sectioning everything off and I am going to flat iron it. And I'm using the chase method. I bought this little thing on Amazon to make it a lot easier. I'm just really quickly gonna pass through this. I'm sure you've seen this done a thousand times, but we just need to get baby straight so that we can get her ready to go for the next step. At this point, I'm getting excited and I'm actually gonna do something else to take it up another level to bring it back to more of what my comfort zone is. So this is a 10 inch wig. So I got some 10 inch Love Me Gold clip ins and I'm gonna add these in like around the perimeter of the wig to give me some highlights. Another thing that's important about adding in these clip-ins is you gotta tease these roots so that they have something to stick to so that they're not sliding out. That actually blended in really well and laid nicely. You can't tell that there's a clip-in underneath there. So I added a total of three pieces to complete this look. It was the left, right, and the back. So if you know me, you know it's rare that I ever do bone straight hair. So I'm about to take this time right now, section it off and just add some curls more so for a little wave and some volume. 
I know this is a wig, but heat protectant is key. We still want to treat this like it's our real hair so we can make it last longer. Okay, so yes, highlights come through. You guys don't understand. I never wear dark hair, so lightening and adding these highlights is necessary, and this was the first for me. And I'm liking what I see, y'all. I'm liking how it's turning out. I'm feeling like it's about to be popping, and I'm about to be looking like the one. Okay, guys, I am back with the final look. This is my lovely wig. You know, I added the clip-ins in, and I added some curls. I'll be trying to do the straight hair thing, but I'm just not straight hair kind of girl. But I do love their wigs. They're really affordable. I got about... I have at least 10 of them over there. Um, I'm a naturalista, so I'll be wearing my hair natural all the time. And every now and then, you know, when I don't feel like wearing my hair, I'll wear like wigs for a month. Um, keep my hair in a protective style. But this thing is popping. I love it. For me, I just got to get used to looking at myself with dark hair. This is so weird. You, you guys know I'm, I'm blonde. Like, I have not been dark in years. Like, I just keep my hair blonde. Like, that is my comfort zone. So if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and you want to see more hair videos from me, go ahead and hit the like button, girl. And comment below if you have tried these things, if you have tried Love Me Wigs, how they worked out for you, what your experience was. Like, they've been holding me down. Like, they're the reason I started really wearing wigs. Um, and with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.